Hello. How's everyone today? So excuse the nasally situation. Um, it was really cold this morning and now it's kind of warm. And so my allergies have just decided to freak out on me. So um, please forgive any sniffles that I may have. Um, today I went out and I needed to buy some elements to make some wreaths for gifts. And um, while I was out, I decided to stop into a consignment shop that I've never been into. And I was so happy I went in there. I only got a few things, but I think I got some really good finds. And I think it's going to be a place that I frequent quite often. So we'll go ahead and start with the craft items and then I will um, transition into the, um, the items I got at the consignment shop. So I went to Hobby Lobby. That's where I went to get um, the craft items. Please forgive the rustling. So let's see. And everything is tangled. Okay. So the first thing that I got, um, I just mainly got stems and a couple, a few spools of ribbon. Two, three. Um, the stems that I got are these pine, long pine, okay, long pine needle stems, and um, they're frosted, and I love these. They're so pretty. So I bought two of them and I have a couple of these um, for my own decorating and these are for a wreath I'm going to make, but I'm really hoping that I can make it in um, for when they really drastically drop the prices for their Christmas items. Um, so I can buy a bunch of these because I just love the little icy. It's like little, to me, it looks like little glass beads that are just make up the little ice crystals. And then the pine cones are also iced. So I bought two of these. They were $3.99 um, each and they were 50% off. So these are going to be so nice. Also for that same wreath, um, I purchased some red berries and I purchased four stems just so that I, you know, was sure I had enough. So four of these and these were $1.99 and they were half off. So all of the, all Christmas was half off, even their, um, and then their floral stems were also, all their florals were half off. So we got four of these. They're so pretty. So yeah. So these are gonna go on that same wreath. Excuse me, I apologize. And then I got this Merry Christmas ribbon. So it has like some holly, some poinsettias, some plaid pattern, and um there's bells on this. There's a bell on the seat. So I just thought that was so pretty. I'm going to make a nice big bow. And I'm so excited for this wreath. Um, I do need to find like a center piece for um, like I am making a bow, but I think I want to find something else to add to that focal point. So yes. And then um, I needed to purchase. I'm going to make a, another fall wreath very similar to the one that um, I made earlier. And I needed some more of these burlap leaves. So Let's see. Okay. Now I'm going to, so I'm going to make another wreath. And this one is for my niece. I'm so excited. She's five-ish. And so for my thought is for her, for her bedroom, like over her bed, or maybe for, um, I don't know if she has posters on her bed, but um, she loves Anna and Elsa from Frozen, and she, when she was little, she would always just say Anna, Elsa, Anna, Elsa. So I found this beautiful snowflake icy blue ribbon. So I'm going to make her some big bows um, just to decorate her room with. And then also, I'm going to make her a wreath for her bedroom door. Um, and I found this cute village, snowy village scene. And it has um, like the homes or the barns, the you know different buildings, and then also has the church. So I just thought that was so sweet for her. Um, 
and I found this set of four nutcrackers for her. Is that so sweet? It's like nutcracker princesses or fairies. And there's uh, pink, silver, gold, and like an aqua blue. So, and then the last thing I purchased for her, and I don't know if it's going to go in the wreath. It, I really love it. That was my idea to make it kind of like a focal point for her, but it has, it has purple in it. So it has an iridescence. It's such a pretty little, and it's acrylic. It's so pretty. And I thought it would look so good. Now it has purple and the wreath or the ribbon does not have purple in it, but I thought I could still do something with it together. So we'll see how it comes out if I like it all together, but that's just so sweet and precious. So those are the craft items. I've got some wreath work to do. Let's see. Put those over here. Okay. Now for the consignment shop. So I have driven by the sign that says consignment for a few years. And I'm like, huh, I wonder what that, what's in there. And I just kind of never gave it much thought. And then today I was on that side of town um, and I was like, oh, I don't really like, I don't come over here all the time. So I was like, there were a few other stores I wanted to go to, but I was like, well, you know, I've never been to that one. Let me go see what's there. And um I was looking, so today, today's my 20th anniversary, and I was looking for some really pretty, like, uh, Waterford, or, um, I don't know if Lennox does, I think they do glass, glassware, but anyways, I was looking for, like, two champagne flutes that would just be, like, really pretty, um, just to kind of, like, commemorate, um, you know, our anniversary, so that was my idea, I was like, well, let me go in there, let me see, I did look them up on, um, Google and then there was like they have a website so I was kind of like looking through and I was like oh it's interesting it looks like they do have a lot of inventory um so I was like let let me go so I went in oh my goodness I didn't even know where to start I was like looking at it's set up like a department store they did such a good job um and so like I walk in and right away there's like some fall items and then they have paintings or paintings and artwork. And then around the corner to the right, it's set up like there's a shoe department and they have all the fixtures and everything is set up so nice and displayed. Um, they have like beautiful cowboy boots, pink and teal and just a whole shoe department. And then there's, you know, there's like racks of women's clothing. And then, um, so I walk around and then there's like this whole middle section of furniture, um, you know, vintage and antique pieces, some modern, you know, modern pieces. And um, I was just like, oh my goodness. And the way they do their pricing is there's the price, which is in bold, and then um, depending on, it's already pre-figured, like the discounts are already pre-figured. So once it's here for 30 days, um, it drops to this price. And then if it's there for another 30 days, it drops to this price. And it's like from that 30 days on, um, there's a tiny section in the back marked clearance. So what they do is just like in a Sharpie, they just write a number, which is the final price. Like it's in the clearance section, this is the price. But um, in the middle, well, it's in the middle, but it's like in the front middle, there's all this glassware, like depression glass and uh, mid-century glass and, um, excuse me, China and just crystal and just all of this stuff. And then in, in front of that, there's a, like a, it looks like a beauty counter or like a jewelry, it's a jewelry counter. And it's kind of like when you go into a department store and there's the beauty counter that's like roundabout with the cases all the way around. Well, that's where they have all the jewelry. And I was just like a kid in a candy store. And then on the other side, they have their like vases and urns and lamps and chandeliers. And it was fantastic. And I only had an hour. So I was just like, my eyes, it was like, I just didn't know where to look. So I got a few things, just a few, but I will be going back. So the first thing that I picked up was 
and I'm trying to behave. That's the problem. Trying to behave when you find like a honey hole. I feel this is a honey hole. And I don't normally go into consignment stores because, you know, sometimes their prices are marked a little high. And I don't know if it's always the prices are always like this or if it's just like the season that we're in. Um, but I was just really happy. So the first thing. Okay, so, oh, you can see it a little. <laughs> the first thing I purchased, well, the first thing I grabbed was when I walked in and there was like a rack of kind of like fall items. Excuse me. And that's when I was like, I saw this and I went, I picked it up and I went over to the desk and I was like, this is my first time in here. How, how does, how does this work? Do you have discounts? Are the discounts shown? Like, what is the deal? Well, that's when they told me about the tiered prices. So I found this and this is, um, L, this is by L.E. Smith Glass Company for Longa Burger baskets. And it's made in the USA, which I was excited about. It's a pumpkin candy jar and it's glass. And it's like a caramel color, caramel and cream. And it's beautiful. So Ellie Smith for Longa Burger, I believe this is kind of like a more modern of their pieces or it's not terribly old, but still, I've never like, I just learned about Ellie Smith for Longa Burger like in the past two days. I joined a Facebook group for uh, Viking and Ellie Smith glass just to kind of look through and, you know, see if I recognize any of the milk glass pieces I have, excuse me. And um, somebody was talking about like the milk glass turkey and how to identify it. it has an S on it. It was Ellie Smith did it for Martha Stewart, blah, blah, blah. And then it talked about, um, they also did for Longa Burger. So when I saw this, I was like, what are the odds that I walk into this consignment shop and there's a piece and it's autumn and I love it. And it's made in the USA and it's just so pretty. And I know I'm rambling, but I was so excited. How cute. There's inside. So it just, and it's heavy. I just love it. It's so pretty. And then, of course, here's the bottom. So, see, it says Longa Burger made in USA. So, I just love this. I thought this was, like, so special. So, that's number one. I'm going to keep it kind of separate so I don't ship it. Excuse my, excuse my sniffles. So, that was one. Another thing that I found that I'm probably going to tuck it away. I don't know that I'm going to use it right away, but I'm always looking for glass filler. I don't know if you look for glass filler um, or vase filler, but I'm always looking for vase filler. And I don't like everything that is necessarily made for vase fillers. So I found a bag for, it was $5. Was it on sale? It might have been like four fifty, like discounted to the next one or something. But it's a whole big bag of wine corks or corks, champagne, wine, whatever. So I don't drink wine. I don't drink champagne. Um, I like bubbly water and bubbly fruity water. But I'm never, I'm never going to drink enough wine to. Get this many wine corks. And this, that's so pretty. And I just thought that um, this would be such a pretty display um, in, a, in a vase, in a beautiful crystal vase, a glass vase, um, a pretty bowl, whatever. So, and it has like, some of the tops are silver. They have like a foil. Several of them do. So I was like, this is so pretty. So I went ahead and purchased this. It's like five bucks. The um the Ellie Smith was I don't know. It was originally priced like twenty one, 
And I think it went all the way down to the lowest price. So maybe, maybe it was like $12, but I was fine because if I go on eBay, I'm going to have to spend at least $10 on one of the least expensive ones and then pay shipping. And then it's still like 20 bucks. So I was fine. All right. The last two items are for my bathroom. Oh, the sniffles are coming. I collect milk glass. I love milk glass. So that's really why I bought these. These are Avon jars. Here's one. This one, the sticker is missing. And the label on the bottom is missing too. But I just thought they were so pretty. And they're milk glass. So I'm not an Avon jar collector, but this might be my third Avon jar because I have one that's like a, um, I mean, you could call it a candy jar, but it's very small. It's like small and um, it has like a pretty lid with a stem like handle on it. And uh, I think it has like maybe a cream or something in it. So I thought that these two pieces would look great with that. Crinkle, crinkle. Here's the other one. It's like a little wardrobe. This reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast. And then here's the back. Let's see if I can, yeah. There's the back, has some like raised florals. And then this does have the label on the bottom. And this it says Avon, Bird of Paradise Foaming Bath Oil, five fluid ounces. And then it has directions. Pour approximately two teaspoons under running tap. Avon Products Incorporated, New York, New York. And then some of the, the gold is off of the, the caps. So I just thought these were so pretty. I wonder if this had like a clock face on it, maybe. But these are gonna look so nice with my other Avon jar. So yes, so one, two, three, four. So I only purchased four things at the consignment shop today. I did show some restraint. But man, I can't wait to go back. So there's something else that I want, and it's like six dollars, I think. No. In six days, it'll go down to like under ten dollars. And it's an old, it's like an earthenware blue, blue glazed um like mixing bowl. And I remember my mom had one when I was little, and I don't know where it is. I don't know if she still has it. I don't know if she got rid of it, but um I'm going back to get that because it's so cute. So those are the things that I got this time around. Um, this was kind of like a two for as far as the crafts and the consignment shop. But um, yes, oh, I'm so happy. So um, I might be doing some more. I might do, do some more live videos actually making the wreath. Um, my, my wreaths, it's easier to... Um, Do I have any silk shirts in my closet? I do not. Is that gonna help me with my allergies? <laughs> no. Um, so I'm hoping to do some of the wreaths on lines. It's easier to hop on and do live, of course, than it is to film and edit and all of that. So anyways, um, I hope that you all have a great day and I'm hoping that you are getting ready for Thanksgiving and um, yeah. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.